All right, hey guys, I am on Twisty Tune here. I just made level eight, and it was requested that I show some AE kiting um, up through this level all the way up to uh, like a Ville Omen era, probably like low 20s or so. Um, so this is like a little bit of a progression guide. First off, hitting level eight, I just want to show you some things to pick up, right? You want to pick up as many songs as you can. Um, and that includes, you know, of course you have Chords of Dissonance. You need that. Hum, uh, Hymn of Restoration for your healing. Jackson's Jig of Vigor. Actually, I will actually use this. Probably the one and only time I'll ever use this song that I can think of. Uh, and I'll show you in a second uh, why I might use that. Anyways, uh, Lisa's Locating Lyric. This is great to find your corpse. Definitely get that. Cedric's Accelerando. Definitely get that as well. Coming in over to the trainer here. Uh, Grant, I am in Kelethon. As you can tell, uh, don't forget to. Uh, I just I already bought them, but uh, getting stringed instruments. Stringed instruments is numero uno, or else you won't even be able to equip the loot or anything or use it. So stringed instruments, you want throwing. I use throwing because at level twelve you get Brusco's Boss of Bello, uh, which is a you know a, it's a shorter range uh, direct damage song, and you can use it to tag mobs. But that's not until level 12, and that song is over in either Freeport or Kinos, which I'm not traveling over there just yet. So use some throwing daggers to get some range and some distance for tagging mobs and getting a kite going. That's why I use that. And then uh, coming down, percussion right here. Get that as well so that we can use our drum when you use Cellos Accelerando. Uh, some other things to consider. Uh, get all of your instruments. Get your, get your, you know, make sure you got your drum, a horn. Uh, a lute and your little your little whistle, your wooden flute. Uh, the cool thing you can choose between a lute or a mandolin. Which one you say? Well, I'll show you something kind of kind of neat. Is uh, it's not really neat, but notice how the lute they're both the same modifier. Uh, one is a bard class in all races. The other one is all classes in all races. So essentially, anyone can equip a mandolin in their second slot and look like one of us, one of the baddest characters in all of EverQuest, the bard. That's right. So, pick all those up. Uh, don't forget to come down. Get your throwing knives. Uh, just get a few stacks of those. You only need a few, hopefully. And uh, we'll start checking over to um, Butcher Block, to Dagner's Cauldron, and then on our way to um, Unrest, where we will attempt to kite the courtyard at level, starting here at level 8 and work our way up. And we can do that repeatedly until we hit about level 18 or 19 or so, depending on what you want to do. So here we go. And this is why uh, Jackson Jig of Vigor, right? As we start running towards, right? I like to jump. I'm also strafing, jumping to get there as fast as possible. And while you're jumping, you can twist in Jackson's Jig of Vigor to get your stamina back. That is why we do it. Um, just for some a little bit extra stamina regeneration. And it's not a whole lot, but it helps. Right, not hitting trees, but and okay, we'll see you in a moment in unrest. All right, here we are in unrest, level eight, ready to go. Uh, we have some of the courtyard is open, and we have these death beetles. We're gonna pull all these things; they are red, and we're gonna see what we can do. Um, there is a group on the other side here, but a lot of this is open, and you know, just to start, well, that's exactly what we'll do: just pull a few, and to see what we can. Dude, we don't want to die. It's just a long run, repeated run, especially, you know, with no drum on and all that. So, uh, basic twist here, right? We're going to use Sellers Accelerando, and we're going to use Chords of Dissonance. For that, we are going to equip our loot because that will modify uh, Chords of Dissonance. It's a stringed instrument. What does it modify it by? It's modifying the song by 20. So, to calculate that, we want to know the base damage. Um, once we know that, let's just call it, I don't know, 5. Uh, 5 damage per tick that uh that the song is on a mob um so when you modify that by 20 you're gonna be five times 20 divided by 10 or just move the decimal place over on the modifier to make this 2.0 or 2 right so you would then times that by the base damage of the song so in this case we'll just say that it's five so five times two is ten so you do ten damage you know per every i don't know six seconds or so um on all mobs that are affected by your AE. So here we go. Let's give this a whirl and see what happens. This is a little bit dangerous area if you kite right out here, only because 
Um, these mobs path back and forth, and if you're not paying attention, they could stun you and get you. And actually, I might... Well, I don't want to kite here because... Uh, that guy's there. That's all right. We don't need it. Um, I have all these other buffs on. I'll get rid of all that stuff. Uh, someone buffed me coming in. <laughs> and uh, So we'll get cellos on, and let's get ready to rock. Let's pull this thing and see... What we can do. The name of the game here at level 8, I only have 192 hit points. We don't want to get hit. And uh, we're gonna. this is a game of keep away. This takes a, it's a little bit of an art form. It takes practice uh, to get this down right, right? We're going to find these openings and hopefully strafe through and, or get around and just gather them up as we go. So we want to get one of the furthest ones here. Let me get uh, range on. I'm, see, I'm not even set up. Um, <laughs> sorry. Let's take a moment here. We got all that here is, um, oops, take that range, right? Ammo, cool. Now we're ready to really rock. So let's get it going. Cellos is on. And turn it, oh, what am I doing? I don't need that. Well, because I'm probably first time using throwing. Here they come. Let's get it going. So I'm going to run out here. We're going to run right through. Let's see. Let's judge this a little bit. Come out here. And we'll just tag these guys. So I'm going to run out a little bit. Then come back around. Gather them up. Gather them up. I hope I, hope I got them. Oh, yeah. They're coming. They're coming. Oh, jump. Don't want to get hit at all. Okay, as you can see, the courtyard is clear. They are behind me. Actually, to verify, there they are. Shift T to look behind you. You can kind of zoom in a little bit. Make sure we gather all these mobs up. We don't want any of these pathing into us. And so we'll come over here. Just gather them up, gather them up. They'll social aggro where they should. And there we go. I got a little bit of a kite going. So, auto run, auto strafe is the method I use. I'm using mouse steering right now. I'm holding my keys, my forward and strafe key. Right now, I'm going to click off my screen to my desktop just to uh, and release those keys and click back on. I have a guide all about doing that and how to lock in the auto run, auto strafe. So, right now, I'm hands free besides my mouse. And this is what I'm going to use to bring it in and start getting this dot on. So, very careful. Be very careful. Very nice and slow here, right? We're low level. We're running slower. Our singing modification isn't that high. Not that I don't think it affects you know the percussion song anyways of cellos, but here we go. We're gonna bring it in. You can already kind of see them in the bottom. Keep them down there. Keep them down there. Don't let don't turn in too much. Um, as you can see, I'm already getting some winces, some resists, which is expected. And there we go. You can see in the bottom corner in this uh, song screen, I got the winces. And uh, I'm going to cycle through using my tab key to kind of target and see which one is dying the most. So even if I don't get the song on, don't worry about it. Be be patient. It will go on and get cellos back on immediately. Uh, that's if you're just using this method. You don't have to. You can do normal strafing and all of that uh, to get it on. But there we go. We have this nice little area. I'm kind of also looking ahead just in case there's a, like a roamer. We don't want those on us at all. So this is going to take some time, right? The damage is slow because of how low of a level we are. So be prepared to do this for a little for a little bit. And there we go. We're getting those winces. They're getting hit. It's a good day thus far. Again, making sure Cellos is on. And remember, you need to be paying attention to Cellos as well. I have it in my peripheral to where if it does drop, all I, all I would do is then release my mouse and just strafe out. Right, hopefully not into other mobs, but um, oh, a little bit too close there for comfort. Bring them back on, bring them back around nice and slow. There we go. Nice, gentle, easy mouse control, right? Cool, calm, and collected. Just nice and easy, gradual. Don't cut in, don't do anything crazy. Uh, I can't stress it enough in this zone because some of these models are a little bit different. Some It seems like they have like a, a, a further reach at some points and they're able to realign faster on you uh, which could get you hit and get you stunned and get you killed so as you can see even the jack-o-lantern these are all red definitely red um, but we are killing them not only that we are killing I don't know how many mobs we got here let's see we'll count them up 
So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve ish mobs. That's pretty nice. So here we go. Normally you get the whole courtyard, but there's a group over there. I'm not going to uh, mess with that. I don't want to, you know, take mobs away from them. They are grouping. So being respectful of others uh, is part of this as well. Play nice. Uh, don't steal everything. Just doing this for this video as well. And I will, later on, I'll come back into the zone when it is uh, fully repopped and no one's around. And I and then and then I will kite, right? Because this is easy. This is super easy for me to do. I have other characters that I can, you know, play and all that. So. Um, just being mindful of who's in the zone, what they're doing. But again, this is a, this is a nice smaller group. I don't want to get, you know, you're going to get crushed immediately, but, but you know, I don't get overly crushed immediately <laughs> with the whole, with the whole entire courtyard and the whole courtyard is fun. And you're going to figure out how to pull that very, very soon. Um, it is a game of, it is a running game because if you trap yourself, you can get, you can corner yourself by pulling, you know, mobs into the wrong areas, and that's why I call it an art form as well. Is uh, figuring out the pathing of these mobs when they're kind of moving. I mean, you don't really know, but you can kind of get the sense of it of where you'll actually fit in without getting hit. You know, like squeeze in between two mobs and fit in wherever, and uh, all that. So from here on out on this character, it's only kiting. I'm not doing any other like melee damage really, unless something's running away. Uh, then I might help, might melee it down, or just use hand to hand, whichever we want. So cool, nice. They're nice, and they're, they're nice in the bottom of my corner, the corner of my screen there. Ooh, I feel like uh, that's gonna be too close. So we will jump away. Look, I already got one, uh, one down. Let's get settles back on. And there we go. Since it's only a one song twist, we're not instrument swapping. Of course, we only have one song. So that is all that we need. And we can keep it here in this nice like little circle pattern. And our nice little racetrack. And get these mobs down. As you can see, now we have three dead. I'm at 44% experience. I think I started with like eight or something. But it's going to move. Right? You're going to get more experience than you know what to do with. So now the uh, scare is actually a little bit slower than the other models. So also be careful of that. Don't get tricked into trying to tighten up. I'm telling you, don't get tricked into tightening up to get all the mobs. Just get them as they as, as they come. Uh, here they are. Okay, I'm looking down for a reason so I can judge that distance a lot better of where they are and where I need to be. I position myself based on where they are. And I, and I position myself, you know, going inward or outward of the mouse in order to fine tune the radius, right, that I need to be able to hit them with my song. So right out there is nice. Oop, there's, see that, there's an ad that just came in. That's okay. We're just gonna kite them, gonna kite them on down too. Welcome to the party. Oop, another scarab beetle. He did hit me, so let's jump. We're already getting some respawns, it seems. These things do spawn fast. So, yeah, we could, we could sit here and do this for quite a while. But that's the gist of it. I'm going to end it after this, and then we'll come back and we'll do a full... Full kite so you can see it, and uh, we'll keep it updated on the progression. Every time we get close, I'm gonna I will record it and show you. Uh, whoop, skeleton there. Oh boy, <laughs> very lucky that they haven't stunned me. So usually it's a one and done. So here we go. And if I get too many right now, I'm just gonna run out and zone them. Not a big deal. This guy's probably looking at me like, what the heck, bro? Taking all the mobs. I promise I won't take them all. We'll get them down. So again, practice, practice, practice. Uh, being very conservative. 
can't stress it enough. Don't get aggressive. Um, even if you feel like you're in a time crunch and, hey, I, I want to get this kite done. I need to get it done in the next five minutes or whatever. You know, just, you just got to, it's hard. It's hard to do sometimes. Oh, oh no. Oh, and there it is. See, got a little bit too close. And there you go. But that's all right. We'll come back and uh, <laughs> and we'll continue. All right. So we covered from the hiccup. Definitely my thought on that one. After all I was saying, <laughs> it is still very easy to die. Uh, and this time we'll try to not get uh, keep it so tight. So what we'll do is um, let's give it a second here. And I'll start on the right side, kind of just tagging up, up top, and then we'll pull uh, around and down. So have the mob there. Let's see. We'll just give it a second here. We definitely want these guys to path a little bit. Another death beetle, and then we can kind of run around and tag those as well. So let's see. Cellos is on. Let's get the drum on for that. And here we go. As soon as we see them aggro. All right, they're moving just fine. And there we go. The ghoul, um, the one ghoul there, he could pop up, potentially root, which, again, we don't want, um, if he hits you. So here we go. Just kind of giving it a second here. We do have the will-o-wisp in there as well. We're just going to come in kind of slow, right? We just want to gather them up. Nice big circles here. Keep away, keep away. There we go, cutting through. No surprises. All right. I kind of reshift back out, and there we go. I got pretty much the whole thing. Let's go back one more time to ensure because that one tormentor went around, and that. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Hugging the wall over here. All right, and that does it. So what we'll do is switching out back to the loot. I got my strafe going, I'm clicking off. Oop, clicking back on. Here we go. It's nice big turns coming. If we start getting ads, we're definitely just gonna shift to maybe a different area, kite around a bit and regather mobs if they come in. So round two, here we go. You see, we almost we almost leveled as well um, on the last one. Ooh, there's a skeleton there. Just making sure that that skeleton was in the kite, which it is. Trying to readjust my circle just to get it here in a nice, even pattern. So just twisting back and forth. Just keep the twist going. I 
Remember that the dot does last 12 seconds, even though we want as many applications as we can. Why? Is because you do get some that are resisting, and so uh, if you keep reapplying it, you know, the chances of them not resisting at least one within 12 seconds is good, while the others are still being, or are still affected by the dot, that's still good. Even if that same mob that's already dotted resists it again, it's just, you know, saying that it still already has it on there. It doesn't like overwrite or remove a dot even if it resists it. But as long as it's on, you have it does last for 12 seconds for about three ticks, right? You can call it ticks, or I, I think I've been calling stuff pulses, um, which could be incorrect. But as long as the AE dot is on, it acts as like a like a like a deep like 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 a buff, right? A buff that harms you. Regardless, um, see, so yeah, reapplications are good. I, I just want to ensure that my cello stays. I just don't want it to, to mess up and fall off, strafe away. Maybe these mobs could be potentially faster. This guy's watching. Got a little audience, which is okay. So work them down, work them down. Alright, they're starting to come down. It's only been a few minutes, so pretty 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 good. Pretty good so far. And there we go. Level nine. First level done. <laughs> So this is all I'm going to be doing for the next few levels now. Uh, just keeping this going. Maybe even get a mob or two from inside. And you can pull those guys out and also kite them down out here as well as with the rest of this. Uh, uh, with, with the rest of the yard. Um, and this is what we'll keep going throughout, throughout this guide here. Uh, through this little progression. And again, I did fight up from level uh, up to level eight, just melee style. Um, I didn't bother trying to do some kiting. I was, I almost tried to do orc hill because there was no one there. But again, it's just faster just to to kind of just blast through those mobs uh, with with your with your sword and some songs. All good. Okay, so we'll keep this going, and uh, we'll see you guys here in a second. I'm almost level 10 already. Look at that. As soon as all these mobs start start burning down. I'd actually be interested to see the... Uh, there's a large wisp in the kite as well, so that's kind of cool. I doubt that I'm going to be able to... It's going to take a long time to kill that. Uh, let's just see if I can get the next level real quick. Only able to target my Wisp and the Torment. That's okay. We are hitting the Beetles, or we have been. So I haven't seen their corpses yet, which means that they should be getting close.
maybe not. <laughs> Thought it might happen here a little bit quicker, but that's yeah, all right. Keep it going, keep it going. Let me try to get these beetles down. So this apologize for taking a little bit. Um, don't want to waste too much uh, more time just watching this go in circles. <laughs> uh, but this is all I'm going to be doing. So again, once I get another kite, if I re every, every time I redo a kite, I'll just kind of show you um, again and again, uh, just uh, so you can see it. And I'll just pause it after that, and then it'll be good to go. So uh, we'll see you. Uh, here in a second. Yep, so after I paused the last one, of course, I leveled right after. <laughs> I couldn't target the uh, mobs, and here we go. Uh, now we are level 11. This is the same kite, the same exact kite that we had, and I haven't, uh, nothing has added to it. Uh, but here we go. These mobs are just down to their last, to their last limbs as well. So hopefully we can get all these killed before the respawns happen. But you can see the good grouping I have here. You know, pretty much the basic circle of what I was doing, uh, less the uh, readjusting and whatnot. So we got the Will-O-Wisp down. We got all the high-level things down that I could tell. And uh, yeah, learn learn our lesson from the uh, from the uh, death, right? <laughs> but uh, yeah, be ready. Be ready to die, and you know. And just know that you can come back in and you're going to be just fine. You're going to crush it. Um, okay, 1%. Let's get them down. Oh, there are respawns. So, yep, there he goes. Dead. So look at that. We got them done before uh, before the respawns happen. So now we have all these corpses. <laughs> and what you can do is uh, um, hide corpses all. And there you go. You can hide them all. I think if you hit it again. Uh, I think you have to type in none, and there they come. They come back up, if you care. Uh, I don't care about the, the loot, so we'll hide them. So let's give it a few minutes. We'll get another full re respawn. Look at that, level 11 now. All in one and a half kite from the beginning. <laughs> so, uh, um, yeah, we'll give it a few minutes and come back and do it again. All right, so here we go again. This will be the second... Uh, bigger kite and I'm just gonna pull I'm gonna start from the entrance this time uh, still waiting for there are technically waiting for some more repops but uh, nonetheless ooh, there we go so we're gonna pull those beetles I'm gonna pull them right down this way to the right side and get this kite going again so let's come out here and zigzag around Just to gather them up uh, a little bit higher, I will start pulling the gazebo just to get in there. The, the pathing is kind of weird. And actually, we'll try to get this ghoul. There he goes. We got him. Oop, not stopping. <laughs> but this side is completely back up, so we'll just kind of start gathering it that way. And real quick, just to gather this around, I want it to be a little bit tighter before I go in there. Because the mobs are too spread out, then you'll kind of backtrack on mobs and you'll get yourself into a bind. So here we go. Let's get them down. Run down the line here. Kind of along the wall. Just going to hold them over here. Run right past that other guy. And just start gathering. Ooh, there we go. It's our next kite. Hopefully, here in a second, we'll get them nice and bunched up. So switching back to my loot, 
because you want to increase that damage and strafing get my auto strafe on and just start working it in bring it in bring it in here we are keep them at a good distance All right, and this is all I'm gonna I'm gonna keep doing this, and uh, I'll be back again after the pack is you know near finish, just for a quick update. Uh, here we go. I died real quick uh, in zoning pack. <laughs> See, I'm running back now. Um, I, I think I cut in too close again. Uh, just I was also I and I was contemplating whether or not I needed to. Uh, zone out because that ghoul is not taking any damage from my level so I don't want him in the in the in the pack either just because now uh, it, it they stay ahead of the death beetles and I want to get those more and that if that ghouls in the way and he did get a root off you know momentarily he did get the root off so that was uh, um, also something to note right they if he touches you not only could you get stumbled and even if you could survive you could get rooted and that's just even probably worse <laughs> than getting stunned but uh all right we're just running back actually uh yep running back and i'll see you back in there in a second also running through dagner's cauldron i just wanted to show you here uh type slash play i'll show you how long you've been playing for so so far i know it was asked okay how long does it take approximately well so far i've had i've had this character for 10 hours 12 minutes of a total time so that can give some perspective of having to run around and do this you know every time you die you gotta it's another trek uh, and I am um, checking again <laughs> I only made it to level 11 so far so uh, I don't even think I got a kill in that pack actually it would they were almost done they were almost down too and then I, I just cut in and died so uh, there so there we go um, Okay, that is all I wanted to share so far, or thus far, into this uh, leveling pro uh, the uh, lo uh, leveling progression. Sorry. All right, here we go again, round two, round three, whatever round this is. <laughs> We're gonna try to get him again. We'll, we'll not give up, but this is how we will do it. So this time we'll try to minus the ghoul and all of that. Everything else seems to go down pretty pretty nicely. So this is going to be a little bit tight here. Here we go. Oh no. Go, 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 go. Ah, oh, they stunned us again. Okay, we're away. Strafe, strafe, strafe. <laughs> Man, that's what I'm talking about. It's so... <laughs> That's all right. We recovered even after two stuns. Can't believe it. That pack would have caught us, man. Because the aggro on these things are huge. I'm just going to jump through that. Let's get them pulled over here. Nice and grouped up. All right, bring it around town. Let's get the uh, loot equipped. Whoops, there we go. Engage my auto run, auto strafe. This is it, name of the game. Actually, let's get this guy because he's going to path right into us. Okay, got him on. That's all we need. Nice turns out here. This is all part of the process, right? We made these levels really quickly, but less, you know, dying. <laughs> so I hope you do better than me. Okay, I've done I've done this a hundred times and still, still get you. Uh, this is it. So I'll be back in a second. Uh, yeah, 
we'll be back in a second uh, with some more updates. All right, there, bam, there we got it, just in time. <laughs> so level 12 now. Uh, we still got some some of these in the pack. Burning down, burning down still. Got them all over. Uh, there was uh, some other respawns from these other guys killing and stuff like that, so a little bit of, of more dodging and whatnot. Um, and some other ones that respawn later and also rejoin the pack as well. But all good, we need them. And we'll just continue. And I'm down again. Darn it. So close. I just about the level two. And hit it again. So back to the run. Alright, so we did recover and uh, oh, I guess I just killed him. I meant to show you that somehow I got a lurking mummy and a dark bone skeleton uh, in my kite. I don't even know how that happened. But uh, we killed the dark bone. And we are able to kill the ghoul now as well. So that's pretty cool. Um, but the problem is this lurking mummy is too high of a level. So we shall see um, what's going on over here. I'd like to get the rest of the uh, scarabs. But if not, then I'll just zone them out. Uh, make sure I don't train anybody. If you don't want that. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to get in there and... And to get him. Sorry, my microphone was up. Uh, <laughs> I hope you heard everything I said. I was saying that somehow we got these dark bone skeletons. Oh, and eluded. And uh, some other stuff in the kite that I don't know how I how I got. But uh, whoop. it uh, and okay come back and we'll keep going all right so a little bit of update something kind of cool right i am now level 14 almost six uh 66 percent into it and uh, i'm working with this guy here he uh he wants some zombie skins and so i'm not looting anything anyways i just hide corpses and uh he can a you nuke him down so shout out to you mr lamath uh we owe you one <laughs> so he's actually helping me out a little bit uh, not gonna lie. Same exact hiding. I mean, they were down to the to the last you know, bubble or two of life, anyways, for all the uh, scare, for all the uh, death beetles. So that's pretty cool. And uh, we'll keep it going. Oop. All right, ding. We got 15 here. Keeping it going. Keeping it going. So this has only been a few more minutes uh, after. Still is on. Uh yeah, just keeping the same kites, right? Uh, I, I think that after these, um, another level or two, I'm going to go then go to Lake of Illumin, right? Uh, that, I, I like to uh, get more experience from there because the nor I think you can level almost all the way from like eight and going all the way up from that zone because there is that part of the newbie zone there. And uh, I think that's going to be my intention just to kind of check that out a little bit more. You can easily kite these, kite these, until you are definitely 18 or maybe even 20, right? It's going to take more and more kites as you, you know, get higher. But uh, nonetheless, uh, I think that's what we're going to do just for the sake of, hey, you know, will it be easier? It is on the green server, so, I mean, all these zones are options. Uh, the only, you know... <laughs> I got one there. Uh, the only uh, concern is just getting there, so getting a ride and all that. Uh, definitely, but, uh, all right. And we'll just, we'll just keep kind of continuing here. Pretty cool. All right. Oops. Strafing away here. Uh, ding level 16. There we go. Still going at it. I got this kite. This kite just leveled me again. So now I'm getting a little bit, so I am getting a little bit higher level 16. Uh, songs are landing much better. Everything's going and everything's dead. Good little ring. It seems like, a, uh, one pull, you know, again is a level so you just do this a few times uh, there's still no one in here uh farming this stuff so that is good and uh 
I think one more level. I think one more level and we'll head to Lake of Ill Omen. Just because I have this camp open, I might as well just take advantage of it. Um, and uh, yeah, so we'll do that and we'll keep going. All right, we are almost there, almost level 17. I'm not sure if these guys are going to level me or not, but uh, we'll find out here in just a moment. They're at 1%. percent be nice. There's only two beetles, probably not, but you can see the half bubble there. And that's it. <laughs> um, cool. Uh, we're almost there. Just a few more. Uh, we'll get that done, and I'll be up. I thought that, that I thought that that might level me, so that's why I uh, put the video back on. So see if we can find some just to get that level complete, and then we'll move to the next area of Lake of Illumin. All right, any moment now, uh, we should be getting a level. We'll get some of these last mobs dead. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to trek to uh, Freeport to get my level 18's Denon's song and maybe a few others uh, that I'll pick up there. So any last minute shopping in Kelethin is what you want to do. And uh, and uh, we'll go over, the, go over the, to Freeport to get any of those songs so that when we go to Kunark after this, uh, there's not really options uh, for bard songs out there you know, until you're higher level. So uh, that is why we would I would do that. Uh, and stock up on all your stuff, and we'll be good to go. We'll make a pit stop in Ferona V uh, to try to get bound there, because uh, we're almost guaranteed to die at some point <laughs> out there as well. Uh, and that would be the closest place. And then with a little bit of nav navigating some maps, uh, we could find our way to Lake of Illumin, and I'll explain the layout of that place coming up next. Yeah, yeah I forgot I wanted to show you the, the level. <laughs> That's the whole point of me starting the video again. <laughs> uh, not getting hit. There we go. Always <laughs> jumping through. Not really paying attention to what's around me. It should be. There, there are respawns, and I wanted to get... Uh, the kills a little bit faster, but we are at, at 99%. Come on. All I care about is one more, and then we'll move. Um, or, you know, maybe just kite down a few more just to get that buffer. Bam. Ding-a-ling-a-ding. Ding-a-ling-a-ding-dong. It's level 17. There we go. All in the span of a few hours. So when I did that slash play earlier. You know, it was kind of kind of crazy that, uh, oh, this guy's pulling off my kite. Look at him. Oh, what a little turd. Turdy McGurdy. Fucking... Oh, sorry. <laughs> Harold. Oh, Harold. Come on, man. That's all right. I just leveled, so I'm good. It's going to get me killed doing that, because a lot of these are already low levels, so... Or, sorry, low health, so... But that that's uh that's definitely legal within the game rules, right? Any kite more than like four mobs or something, uh, people are allowed to pull off of that kite, right? And that and that makes sense too. I I uh, was only doing this because no one was here. People are moving in, but that doesn't mean you know there are plenty of mobs in this zone. I don't know what I'm not sure what level he is, but there are a ton of mobs. I don't even have all the mobs in this kite right now. It's just the ones that respawned right here in the immediate area. So yeah, look at that. I'm already leveled. I'm already twenty five percent in. So here we go. Might as well take him down. We'll just give it a few. Uh, we'll let these last ones kind of trickle off, and then I'm just going to zone these out. I'm not going to kill too much uh, more time. Oh, no. Or they're going to kill me. No. Oh, there's not that many. <laughs> now that I'm now, now that I leveled a little bit. Oh, and looting. Um. That's all good. Look, I see you. I see you. I'm trying to get my mobs. That's all right. We're actually out of here, so... Uh, kill this last tormented dead here, and we are out. Cool. Easy day. And off to Kinos, or uh, Freeport, we'll find a, a port. All 
Alrighty, so I made it to Freeport, and we're about to change some brass instruments here. You can actually get this at level 11, so high, So you need to get this in order to use your horn. Uh, and the reason being is because our next song, which I already bought, but here I'll run upstairs and show you. Uh, you will run upstairs to this merchant here, Miss Anissus Trimpet. And scroll down, scroll down. Uh, you want probably want Brusco's Boss of Bello. So this is that direct damage song that you can use for, for pulling and tagging and stuff like that instead of using throwing daggers, but whatever. Uh, and then Chords of Dissonance. This will be... Oh, not Chords of Dissonance. Uh, Denon's Disruptive Discord, level 18 here. So this will be at the next level. This is our second AE dot that we will use then to maximize or apply more damage to the mobs. So this takes the Brass Instrument Modifier, which is why at level 11 you want to train Brass. And that is really about it as far as songs go. Uh, I did not buy anything else all i have is those two from here um because those are all you will need all the way you know up to uh it's 48 really right 48 i'm gonna use the same exact songs in other and other zones and like front of e and dreadlands and stuff like that uh and there's nothing else here that i would really need to have all of those basically anyways so as you can see minimum songs in my spell book this is it in my songbook, I should say. I'm not a spellcaster. I'm a song singer. Uh, I'll just put Prusco's here. Up, oh, can do dead ends yet. So that's okay. And that is it. So now off to finding a way to get to Dreadlands and through Dreadlands uh, to Front of E, get a, get a bind there, and then Lake of Illumin. Cool. Get your chords on. All right, guys, we have made it. We made it to Lake of Illumin. Uh, we got we got bound. I'm running around here. I have my end parse map up up here, and you can see them all the way up north. And on the map, uh, one second. Okay, sorry. Uh, here's my map. Trusty paint. Uh, we are right up here somewhere, you know, in this area, and in front of Cabalus. And as I'm looking out through this area, like these are a lot of low level mobs. Right, this is like a newbie area, and from here it just gets harder and a little bit harder all throughout the zone. And I'm willing to bet that. Uh, let me run over here quick. I'm willing to bet that even at level five, right, you get some cellos, you could probably destroy all these mobs repeatedly because there is nobody out here. Right, this is a this is your land here, nice and open. Um, so I might have to do some experiment, experimenting myself with maybe a low guy. Granted, if you can get a level five bard over here, right, all decked up. And ready, suited up and ready to go. I mean, you got cats. I'm sure cats outrun the other, the other, uh, the other stuff. And actually, here let's just aggro them, huh? Let's find out. Between that and then a scale bone here. Let's see who runs faster. That's all we gotta do. Some testing, right? So we'll see that. And if I brought it in a little bit, don't want to get too close to Cabalus because that's that's never good. But let's pretend that we're kiting them, right? Let's let's just see. Yeah, look, they're just grouped up, so they don't outrun each other yet. I know that the, I know I know for a fact the bigger ones up on the top part of the zone do. But look at all this, all, the, all this trash out here uh, that you can start killing and kiting and all that stuff. Easy, easy day. So definitely, we could go from five at least up to. You know, 23, 25, whatever, uh, to get into Ferona V after that. And man, you'll probably just, you control the zone. Okay, so I'm going to run back down uh, here on the map. So we're up top here. Uh, we're going to run down. There is a hut down here that I'm going to start at. I'm Since I'm level 17, uh, there were some blues in there, some XR Marauders and stuff. And I'm going to pull those. And I'm going to pull all this stuff over here and try to get a nice kite going. And I will show that here in a moment. So let me get time to run down there. All right, here we go. Again, I'm just going to do exactly what I showed on that map. Uh, we're at the Marauders. You can see it on my map up here. And we'll just tag him with Brusco's Boss Fabello. Now I have another hot page made with these guys. And uh, here we go. We're just going to run them through and see what we can get. Let's get all these guys. Maybe they'll aggro. Hopefully, yep, there's, so these are all blue. Blue is, is what we like. 
and I am going to run follow my guy here. Uh, we're looking for some mobs. There are a bunch of scale bones or skeletons out here. Um, there's some right there. Let's see what these are greater. Yep, let's get all these guys. So this is exactly what we're going to start doing. Get some body aggro. There we go. I'm, I am strafing just in case. And I think they'll social, so let's find out. Oh, there we go. Okay, we don't want to die already. <laughs> I just saw another one. There he is over here. I'll just keep distance and use the song that I said I was going to use. So there we go. I'll just run up and over to see what is happening over here. Nothing, as expected. Cool. Even some goblins. There are some goblins walking around. Some skirmishers and stuff that are blue to me. So we'll get these guys nice and bundled. And let's see Sarnak. Sarnak Youth. Uh, he'll, he'll still have experience. He's a high green. Right when it says uh, it's not certain though. It means that he's not certain if he wants to give you experience. But he will. That's what that means. Uh, ooh, run away. And... So we'll come down. This is kind of like another reference point here, down near the lake or on the other side. The lake is right out here. And look at greater scale bones. Let's pick them up. Actually, let's just swivel over here quick so we don't outrun the rest of the pack. Tag him. Inside this hut are explorers. They are allies. Uh, I wouldn't really tango with them. As of now, uh, these other cats out here, one second, I'll target some. They do run faster than their innate run speed is, is faster. So they're going to be faster than these packs. So they'll be ahead of the pack, kind of like it was with the uh, Jack Lanterns and stuff versus the Death Beetles. Death Beetles were actually a little bit slower than the other mobs. And the same will happen with those. So you can still kite them down, obviously, with the cellos. It's faster. So you can still kite them. You just have to burn them down first, probably. Or if you can get the angles correct, uh, that will work as well. Oh, there we go. Just gather, gather, gather. And, you know, I said before, uh, if you type in slash play, this says uh, I mean, total playing time is 12 hours, 55 minutes. I don't feel like that's accurate. I don't know if that's how long I've... I made this character last night. <laughs> like, I don't think I've... And then I went to bed after I uh, got him level 8. So I don't think... That that is accurate in the slightest. I, I'm not. I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe it is, and I'm just crazy. Uh, I just don't want to deny. I'm trying to deny my addiction. Uh, no, I don't think I played for that long thus far. Because then I woke up and I started doing unrest. So yeah, we'll see. Cool, cool. Got a ton of mobs out here. Uh, granted, they're all spaced apart. You know, up oh, this guy. Where'd he go? I just saw another Marauder. Maybe not. Okay. Another youth. We'll just gather all these mobs. I want a nice big kite. I want as many mobs as I can to maximize the time, right? We just don't want to pull 10 and then be like, oh, we'll just went, we use all that time when I could have just gathered a few more. Whoa. All right. Probably need a healing or twist in some healing. Let's see. What's this guy? Goblin Warrior. He is red. Uh, I don't know. Is it worth it? Probably. Probably is worth it, but for now, let's just, uh, <laughs> just because I don't want really to have to keep kiting them down. I'm not going to pull the cats. I am mean, going to pull these guys. The greater scale bones. Looks pretty good. Uh, there's a whole backside here. I don't, I don't know what's over there either. There's some caves. They're full of goblins. I know that there's casters. You can tell casters apart because they wear like more colorful armor than the others. Warbone. Uh, I would wait maybe just a level or two before uh, getting to the warbones and the char bones and the ice bones. They will give much more experience, and those are what we're going to kite next. So that's along this uh, west ridge over here uh, between the ridge line and the lake. So again, I think uh, this is good. Let's just pull it over. Um, let's just pull it over here. Nice little area. Ooh, a flunky. Let's get him. You have flunked, my good man. Unless he kills me, then I flunk. Oh yeah, heal a song. 
Let's get it. Ooh, another another greater scale. So we'll just hit all these guys. Kind of keep a little turn in there and make sure that we get the direct damage song on. There's another one way over there. Uh, maybe he'll just walk to us instead. Okay, so let's go with this little area. I didn't see anything really pathing over there to begin with. So kind of marking it out. I got my songs up. We got mobs somewhere. There they are. I am not encumbered. And as you can tell, I don't think I ever I don't think I ever mentioned it yet. This is all the gear I have. This is just a loot, drum, horn, whatever. Uh, that is it. Like this is nothing fancy. This is all rawhide or whatever. Rawhide, leather, leggings. Not one piece of like twinkage gear or anything. This whole time. So it's all possible. Here we go. So we're gonna bring it in nice and slow. These are skeleton models, so they should be about the same as Unrest. There they are. Bring them in. Oh, only hit one. That's all right. Okay, let's get a let's get a hit on here. Just gotta bring it in a little bit more then. Speed up the mouse pull. Bring it in. There we go. Easy day. We want to get this level so that we can get our next AE dot, and then we can really do some more damage. So hopefully this will be the, the last slow slow kill, I guess, before we can start doing some instrument swapping and all that kind of thing between our loot and our horn. So there are guides I have all about this type of kiting if you reference some of my other videos. I made like a 101 type guide that just shows strafing and all that kind of stuff. And then an actual kite in front of E. But this is all I am doing. Cool. I uh, should look up here occasionally to see if there is any pathers because I don't know what really is around here. And again, we're just tight. We're just kiting at the north top, the uh, the top of the lake, the north north side. I guess you call it the dippy top. They're going down. Let's cycle through and see what we are getting here. Almost 50% with a lot of these. Well, he's almost dead too. There are some greens. I think, the, yeah, the youth was green. He's a high green. Yeah, 50%. So let's give it here another minute. You can watch me do this. I am not counting the winces, but you can see, like, almost, I mean, that's a pretty, that is a ton. I feel like it's a ton. There goes one. Come on, EXPs. The sweet, sweet EXPs. Expizzes. Here we go, up to After this, I will run to the uh, east side and con those mobs. We'll see what, what's around. And I can show some, some of the mobs over there. I have kited over there already. That is a game of keep away as well because now we are getting casters involved and casters hurt. So that guy's running. He's probably the, yeah, the last XR uh, Marauder. They're on different factions. So he's running. He's like, get me out of here, bro. I don't know if I'll get him. Kind of tighten it up a little bit. One, two, there you are. Three. Oh, he's running too. Everyone's running. Get back here. Sarnax on different faction also, it seems. We'll go we'll go get him in a second. And just kite around him. There we go. One down. We're at sixty-two percent through the level. Too close. 
Don't you dare go in the water. Now's not the time to go for a nice, relaxing swim. Dang, look at that, 97%. All those mobs just died. Oh, is that it? Yep, that's it. So, come on, you. Oh, I don't have my... Come here, come here. Bam, look at that, level 18. Woohoo! In the water. In the water we go. Awesome. So, what does that mean? Memorize your new spell. Commit it to memory. Here we go. So now we got that here. And this will change our lineup. I now want Denon's. For now, I'll put it as second as we uh, get more skill in the horn. And... Dang, there we go. All right, I'm going to run. Uh, here is the map again. Uh, we are... Whoop. We are uh, right over here somewhere. We're just going to run over and down over here real quick. Check out the area. I'll give you an update. And then, if not, then we'll just continue here uh, or over there. And e either way, um, we'll be good to go. Okay, we are now at the uh, top over here. Oh, one second, here we are. Um, we are now right up here. Uh, scan the area. We're just going to come around and check all this stuff out. All in here. There's like a windmill down here, I believe. That's the windmill. And uh, so I guess there's stuff behind there, but we'll we'll figure that out here in a second. Uh, let's see what we got. Yeah, so I already conned some mobs coming in. These are soothsayers. They are casters. We don't want those soothsayers. I know for a fact that we don't. Uh, Marauder. Here, I'm just going to start the kite now so we can kind of explore as we go, as we collect. So there are other goblins, uh, some like warriors, who we can kite down. But remember... Uh, you know, the social aggro, do not kite them near these soothsayers, because these soothsayers will root, they will dot and do all that stuff, they will blind, what have you. So we do not want those. These are greater skill bone, definitely blue. There we go, aggro those. Let's get as many as we can here. Right, you just saw that in that in that simple pull, we just gained a whole level. Exact, oh, almost exactly a level. Nah, we were, we were already a bubble or so in. So that doesn't really count. But, you know, nonetheless, if I would have had pulled a few more, definitely, these are these are even cons now, some of these. Here we go, he's even, even Steven. Let's collect them up, collect them up. Who's this guy? He's, he's trying to farm some cats. We don't want cats, so that is okay. Not that I get to tell them what to do. I'm just saying <laughs> we don't need them. Uh, cool goblin. Now that we have a goblin, we need to be very, very careful. So there's a soothsayer. Right? They wear this colorful armor. The other ones do not. These guys don't wear colorful armor. They're more dull. So that is good. Oh, no. Jump away. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh. Son of a gun! Oh, he stunned me. That's all right. Well, <laughs> well, we'll run back. All right, uh, we got our corpse. All right, we're back in biz. <laughs> so we lost our, we lost the, we lost level eighteen. So I can't memorize the second song, but that's okay. Uh, so this other guy's out here slaughtering stuff. These guys are out here camping the goblin gazashi rings and stuff. They want the sarnak carriers, couriers, and uh, that's all right. They can have it. Do it. Good, on, good for them. Ooh. And we will continue with this kite. Sorry that that was, you know, some waste of time. Ooh, a war bone. He might be tougher. We'll see. Make sure our cellos is back on. And get these marauders. Because these guys are definitely blue. Sacre blue. I don't even know if I said that right. But cool. We got him. It's a conscript. Conscript? Uh, sounds like a caster. I'm not even going to chance that. No thanks. Moving along. It's not the droids you're looking for. Alright, XR Marauder. Definitely picking him up. For a hot date. With my voice. That's your Charbone. Yeah, yellows. We definitely want yellows. We want, we want even and higher. Definitely, definitely. Definitely want those guys.
Pick him up, pick him up. See, make sure we got those guys. Cool. Some more scale bones. Pick all these guys up. I thought I saw another guy over here. Where'd he go? Where did he go? Oh, goblin. Don't want him. Soothsayer, remember? He's pink and all that pretty color. That's bad. Real, real bad. Okay. So let's, uh, we're just going to go right back down and we'll get this kite. And again, this is to show you some progression here. Um, oh, there's a warrior. Actually, yeah, yellow. Let's, let's get him. There's nothing else around here, right? Just don't want to aggro those casters. Then you run all the way to the zone line to zone out. Or if you can even run fast enough away, maybe you can camp or something, depending on where you are. Put me is on me. Yeah, even there, right? A pulling death. I was just pulling and I got and I died. Come on. Rookie. Rookie. Rookie numbers. Cool, cool. So we got a good group here. Some others probably down the way. We'll probably go right up here to these ridges and just kite in there. I don't think they path through there. At least I hope not. All right, so right back to it. Loot in hand. Let us dance. Sellers is on. Just checking, give one more scan before I do something dumb. Maybe just right here or something. Seems seems good. All right, Strafe is going. Strafe is engaged. We are locked in. And let us twist our songs. They're already kind of down there. Bam, got some hits. Back to Cellos. And here we go. This may be the better areas because there might be... Oh, that's a spirit. I'm going to jump away real quick. I do not want that spirit collar. Oh, get out of here. Oh, there's two of them. <laughs> I was like, what? Go away. All right, all right. All right, let's come back. Coming back around. Bring it around town. All right, that's on. Yeah, definitely going to be looking up a little bit. Even though we weren't, even though they didn't really path near us, per se, they, they could have definitely been in aggro range of the other goblins, like this goblin warrior here I have on target. These are yellows and stuff, so definitely, as in unrest, they will smush us, as you saw. I didn't even have that many. I think I have. I think I have more now than what I had. And the stuns are real. I think I'm making it up. I'm glad you get. I'm glad you get to see those things because, just so you know, I mean, I could be doing a million. I could have done a million kites and still, right? Something just that easy will still get you, no matter how much you do it, no matter how good you think you are. They can get you. When you least expect it. So I'll do this whole video, this whole kite right here, right? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do this here, and then I'll just show kind of progression again uh, to get up to level 23 or so. At 23, then you can do uh, Ferona V. You can do the Savages, and if you uh, watch some of my other guides, then you, I, I, I do talk about it. And all you would do is just pull the drove largs there and. Uh, uh, specifically looking for savages because they are the lowest ones and that's all you really care about kiting down uh, you will have some left over oh, uh, there's that goblin there you will have a bunch of snarlers and stuff left over but you're not gonna be able to kill them at level 23 you're just gonna get too many you're gonna get all resists so you just run away run them to the guards the guards will kill uh, drove largs but guards will not kill pirates so you got to be careful about that too uh, whatever faction they're on, they're like allies with pirates. Some kind of shady deal, I think. Something, something going on at the uh, at the old port, as it were. But uh, smuggling of fine goods, elven trail mix or something. I don't know. But uh, yeah, that's what we would do. And uh, maybe I'll show one of those kites at the very end of this, just to prove to you that it is possible. And I have done it. 
and uh, cool. So let's get these guys down. I want my level back, man. Definitely a ton of resist. So what I could do, depending on their health, I'm gonna run back. I'm gonna run back out and pull a whole nother kite, and then load up my other AE, and that's how I will kind of tackle to see if we can get the other guys down. There we are, ding a ling a ding dong, level 18 again, <laughs> again. And also brass or skills, you know, it's fun to see the skill ups. I know some people like to uh, AFK and play their songs and stuff to keep them max, which is 100% fine. Um, I just think it's fun after having done it for so long. Uh, it, it, it is fun to see the skill ups and it gives you something to look forward to later on. Uh, even on my level 60, I didn't level up piercing or whatever. So I got a piercing weapon and that's just fun to see skill ups and stuff. So it, it's kind of cool and something else to work towards as you're doing it, right? If you're doing it in the moment... It's just a little bit more fun, a little bit more rewarding to get those skill ups. Because then, yeah, with every skill up, or I, I think every skill up, you increase your damage. Uh, the modifier strengthens the song. So that is always good. Yeah, that dude's running. I probably should. Well, not with those guys there. Oh, he's walking back. He said, no, 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 finish me. Okay, okay, sir, I will. Up, oh, just kidding. Fooled you, didn't I? Here we go. Get that dot on. Oop, I should have targeted. Up, oh, he's down. Yeah, he's right on his last Ixar breath. Oh, don't you hit me? What are you doing? Oh, the war bone. Yeah, what is he at? Okay, he was red, so now he is still red at level eighteen. And he's going down, so that you know that's that's that that's also good to know. So we could definitely take him down. We know that. Alright, I'm missing my songs here. Whoop, Tigress. Part of me, ma'am. I don't want none of it. Just keep him right there in that side picture. Here we go. Still, okay, still got a lesser char bone there, 12%. And then the last one is, I believe, the war bone. I'm trying to target him. Okay, so yep, uh, getting those down. Look at that, already forty-six percent in, almost halfway through the level, just in that in that kite. So that is why I I do I do laugh when I when I die. I'm like ah, you know, haha, yeah, I wasted time. I did waste time. That's the only killer. But uh, man, what we just gained there that would take you hours, right? Take you hours of group time to to get that and heal up, sit down, do all that. What we do is awesome. Look at this, this is awesome. Okay, switching to the jump. I'll be back uh, with some more progression here, uh, some more level ups, and uh, see you in a bit. All right, so I just uh, pulled in a, a Goblin Soothsayer, and he is on me. Uh, one thing I wanted to note about that, when you have a caster on you, see he's casting right now. Um, I do have my drum on, and I'm running away. I have to run to the zone line, so I'm not going to bore you with that. But just quick information. I don't think I've ever mentioned it in any of my videos that I can recall. And that is that once you see that message that they're casting, uh, that song will land on you no matter where you are. No matter how far away you can run or outrun any of these mobs, once you see that cast, uh, they are going to hit you. They, it, it is going to hit you. And they do. These guys have like Spirit of Wolf on or something. He is trucking. But uh, that is something I do want to note. Um, I, hadn't, I hadn't thought about that before. I was trying to make a plane of fear guide and... Uh, and that's where we learned that. It's where it's like, okay, you see them casting. It's going to hit you. It does not matter how fast. You could be, I could be, I could run clear across the zone right now. If that message is on, I am not outrunning it no matter what. So just be wary of that. And that's why it's important to get these, to get, uh, to get rid of them. 
because they they are going to root you right inevitably they're going to do something to really mess you up and get you killed and uh rather waste time running back instead of running to get my body even though this is a long run okay that is it all right i got a few mobs here uh, we're coming in i am actually going to do some loot sw uh instrument swapping and uh, let's get this set up real quick. And we're 89%. We're about to level on this one. That's all I wanted to show. And we could show some instrument swapping to, uh, to show you how I do it. I have my loot on my cursor and my horn is in my secondary. And I put my hotkeys down here. Uh, it'd actually be like that. but So I can have it. And all I will do is switch in and out like that as I twist. So here we go. We're going to bring him in. Actually, Denon's first. If I have that hotkeyed. Coming in. There we go. Got some hits. And we'll keep that nice and tight. Cellos and then back to my other dot and get that. Back to cellos. That's why I kind of do a dot and then cellos and then a, a dot. Just makes it easy. Because that dot is going to last, right? It's going to last for at least 12 seconds. So um, plenty of time. And this is maximizing damage. Now that we have two dots, we can increase them by uh, by. These are both 20 modifiers, so essentially by, by, by doubling the damage by two. Uh, we can move the decimal place over. Oop, I'm just going to get this again. And uh, so, yeah, we're doubling the damage of both songs by doing by swapping out these instruments and uh, dotting them down. So earlier I did die again. I uh, <laughs> it actually got me super mad, and I was I was butt hurt. Man, I am I was upset. I couldn't believe I just died twice after doing that. And uh, and after I just ran uh, the goblin to the zone line, I uh, was kiting again, and the son of a gun, another one popped right on me and then rooted me, and I died. I didn't I didn't have, I forgot to. Uh, snap a recording of it so you could see it but uh oh i was i was i was heated heated after i just did all that running around <laughs> just to collect more mobs and ding there we go ding fries are done uh level 19 there so pretty cool we're just coming in let's get this marauder i'm gonna get a dot on him Whoop, maybe not oh no oh everything's running anyways but uh Get my strafe back on. Okay, everything's all running all crazy. Come back here, Ixar. It's like you'll never get me. I'm too slippery. And that other goblin ran away too. What the heck is going on? What is this guy at? 12? Trying to just readjust here so we can get both of these hit. There we go. Get them down. Moving on. I'm going to go back to the other side of the zone. Uh, the uh, the goblins are just making me cranky. <laughs> try, try to do this quickly. Uh, for as quick as this is, you know, it's still, yeah. It's just like, come on. Come on. It's all part of the game, though, right? That's why it's hard. That's why we enjoy the game. Because it is hard. It is a pain. This is not meant to be easy. Even though this is an easy way to do all this, uh, still dying, still <laughs> getting the, the crazy ads and all that. So, uh, real quick, uh, let me bring back the map quickly. We are over here. We're going to run back over this side again and check out that side of the zone. So, we'll be back here momentarily and we'll be on our way to level 20. All right, so just ding level 20. As you can see. So we're over here on the west side again. I'm getting some of these ice bones and stuff like that. All kinds of other mobs over here. Some are, I'm going to have to zone them out because they're, they're a little bit too high. And I'm unable to hit them with my songs. But I have an instrument swapping a little bit more. Oh, he's running. Let me uh, get over there and give him a little, little blast of the old trumpet. Oh, he resisted. 
that's all right um yeah level 20 so as you can see this zone is very viable and i would just continue this between maybe this side you know the north side get the extra uh scragglers as you can and then on the east side where the courier and stuff is that stuff uh will definitely get you through and get you up there so this is definitely viable um if you've seen my other other guides definitely uh check out as i kind of mentioned i might have to scroll back to find it if you skipped over it but about burning woods and stuff like that uh or not burning woods uh front of e and doing savages at level 23 uh, you can definitely do that and just know that you just have to kite everything else away and zone it or something like that. Something of that nature. If you watch my Front of E kiting guide, uh, I definitely show you some spots where you can definitely pull them to. And so, you know, getting getting 25 in there is important. And then, um, uh, just, yeah, again, just zoning out the rest as need be. So here, let me, uh, still got a good, ooh, there's some still in there. Let's get those. EXP is still moving, so we definitely, well, let's uh, get the horn back on, just need to get those dots on, hopefully, yeah, there we go, get those last ones down, there we go, already 22% into the next level, this is just another generic kite up north or northwest and on the west bank right now and uh i think i will have to zone the rest of these oh this guy's almost dead too we're going to take care of him because these are these are definitely red so they are very good on the xp one percent here we go there's only a few left it looks like there's only four left so uh, cool got him down that shot me to 36%, almost two bubbles in. Oop, not looting. I think the rest are char bones and stuff. So that I think will pretty much end this guy. So I hope that I hope that this all helps. That my commentary kind of helped throughout. You can so you can do unrest, you can do like a Villoman. I think you could probably just skip like uh skip unrest and maybe just come straight here to Lake of Villoman and just have the entire place to yourself. Um, I may try it one day. I may make an, another bard and just try it just to see. And if I do it, then I will definitely make a guide about just like a Villoman and the powers that lie within. I'm going to zone these out over here. Um, so just as a last quick reference, uh, this is, I am right over here. I was over here kiting and I'm just going to run over here to Frontier Mountains and zone out. Uh, but all of this is still viable within the at your 20 range they're all still blue and you just keep pulling pulling it's probably it's more safe i think it's safer to pull that side than it is where the couriers are right over on the east side and uh let me uh pull that map up again oh, where to go yeah so instead of over here maybe just focus on these top areas let me clear this yeah so again it's instead of this maybe just focus on these upper portions here as you get you know all throughout uh, there are there's a goblin camp. There uh, there are soothsayers that can spawn in there. So don't want to you but you got to be able to check that first before you get in and start going. So all this morning I've, I've been playing this character just in unrest and uh, I still don't I, I still don't buy the whole time card thing. I don't believe it's been 13 hours. It it's one. Uh, let's see. Look up like around eight or so eight. 10, went in 8, 12, 4 hours, maybe 5 or 6 hours of total, uh, I get, I'd say half that time, I don't feel like, 16 hours is way too much for what I just did, because even to get to level 8, I just, I just crushed through it, and that only took maybe eh, 2 and a half hours there, so, maybe 7, 6 hours, I guess, I've been, you know, just kiting this total time. Uh, but I mean, I could be wrong. This could be, be very well. So that is how long it has taken. But as you saw, I literally did this in like the, the morning into the afternoon, right? And I went and ate, I went and ate breakfast and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, and just did whatever on the side as I was kind of just waiting for repops. So yeah, definitely viable. So I hope, again, hope, hope this helps. And that kind of gives you a, some places to go and hunt and try out.
And uh, yeah, we will see you next time. Thank you for joining. See ya.